Notion is a tool that is perfect for content creators like you and me. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can automate the different steps of creating a YouTube video within Notion and have those various steps be automatically linked into your task database. This is a must have shortcut for all creators out there. Hey guys, my name is Daniel Languish and this channel is focused on increasing value in tech, productivity, fitness, and lifestyle. And I've got a whole series of Notion videos just like this one. So if you want to hear more about Notion, drop a like button below and subscribe to the channel. And I want to let you know that I try to answer every question and comment that you guys leave below and I actually use the questions down below to help know what future videos I should create. So I'd really appreciate if you leave the questions that you might have about Notion and I'll either answer it there or I'll make a future video to answer your question. I'll even give you a little shout out in the video. How about that? That, that a fair deal? I think so. Now let's head back to my Notion creator hack. So as I was starting to begin my YouTube journey, it was super important for me to have a super just organized system for creating my YouTube videos. And if you're a content creator yourself, you already know that the steps to making a YouTube video for the most part are the same from video to video. While the details can be different, the general structure is similar each time. You know, you uh, write a script, you come up with your title, you uh, film the A roll, film B roll, you edit the video. These are all steps that happen in a similar order every single time. Now I currently use a master task database to keep track of all the tasks that I have in the various aspects of my life and I can then use different views to view those tasks. So it was super important for me that not only could I quickly create tasks for each YouTube video, but that they would automatically fit right in with my entire master task database. So let me show you what I came up with. So here we have an example page for one of my past YouTube videos I made and I cleared some of the stuff so I could show you how I, how I work with it. But this is typically how my template appears when I pull it up. So what I've got here is I wanted a way so that I could quickly create all the tasks that I do. So you know, those things like film A roll, film B roll, edit the video, stuff like that. Automatically create those tasks and then quickly be able to drag them onto the day that I'm gonna do them with all the properties being filled in. So let me show you kind of how I've got it working right now. As you'll see, over here, the first thing I did is I created this create video tasks button. And buttons are super cool in Notion because they're, you can customize them to create whatever you want whenever you click on them. So you could have it create an entire, <laughs> entire setup if you wanted to. So if we go and look at how I have this set up, you'll see under create video tasks, I basically have a page for every task that I'm gonna wanna do. So you see research keywords, write script, film A roll, you know, all that sort of stuff. And I liked having it as a page so that within each of those tasks, I also could add uh, specific things, you know, maybe within one of the B roll, I could make some notes about the type of B roll I wanna film. So whenever I click this button, all of those things are gonna be created. So let's just do that. And you'll see, so it opens up the first one, but if we go back, you'll see it just created all of these. And now where the real magic happens is within this calendar right here. Because what I'm essentially gonna do is, so you know, let's say this is a video I'm gonna be doing upcoming here. Today's the 29th. I can drag these onto the day I'm gonna do them. And then because the calendar has specific filters, which I'll explain these in a sec, it's gonna auto fill these tasks to the properties that I want. So you'll see when I drag a task onto here, this calendar is filtered where the pillar of my life that it is, is YouTube. The project contains, and then you'll see that the project matches the best notion add-on accessory. Now the reason for that, we actually have to go back. Let's go back here to pr just our projects page. And we're gonna look at the template that I have for a new idea for YouTube. And you'll see here in the filter for the template, pull that up. 
I have and where the project contains, and this is a super cool feature of Notion, is you can make it the filter contain the template itself. So basically what this means is that whenever you create a new a new temp a new project based off this template, this box right here that says new idea is gonna automatically turn into whatever you name that project. So it's relating to that specific instance. And so if we go back to, let's see, we're pull it up here. If we go back to our page, what that essentially is gonna mean is now, let's say I wanna research keywords today. I can just drag this onto today. And maybe I'm gonna do all of you know, this stuff tomorrow, I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna do all of this on Sunday maybe, and maybe we'll finish all this up on Monday. And what's really cool is you'll see that this is relating to my master task database here. And this is super important because if we actually go back to my dashboard, oops, where I've got all my, this is where it's got all the, my filtered views to see my tasks. You'll see best notion to add on accessory, the one we just did, it auto populates into there with the project automatically linked. So, you know, best notion add on accessory and it's, and it, the pillars YouTube. So this has just been a super helpful way for me to quickly, every time I begin a project, I just go in, I create all those tasks, and then I just drag them into the day that I want. And this is a little bit of an intro into how filters can be so powerful in Notion because when you filter by something and then you drag a block into that filtered database, it's gonna force that block to take on that filter. And that's a that's something that I kind of just have been figuring out more in the last few months, and that's a super powerful way that you can now quickly manipulate the different information that you have in Notion. Well, there's my quick tip for all you content creators out there, and I hope it can be helpful in speeding up your process when using Notion. I know with content creation, you're constantly coming out with another and another, and any way you can just speed up your workflow is huge in the big picture. And the reality is that this trick can be used for anything, anything that's a project that you're gonna be doing repeatedly and has uh, the same tasks within it, you know, I can think of a lot of different areas that might have this. You can use this type of system where you create the project, quickly create all the tasks and drag them in and they'll take on the filters that you want for that project. Super helpful for things that you're gonna be doing over and over again. Thanks for watching, until next time.